Welcome, this is Eric and today I'll be showing you guys how to download and install Adventure Rocks database. So to download, go to google.com, type Adventure Rocks database download. Click the first link from Microsoft scroll down and here is where you will see your database we do have all oltp database data wells database lightweight so to practice on daily basis if you like to have a transaction database go ahead and download uh, adventureworks 2019.bak by clicking the link. You will see the database will start downloading on the top left corner. Depending on your uh, database engine, you can choose any um, version you like and BAK means it's a backup file. And um, AdventureWorks has uh, tables ready made for you and data so you can use it to practice on a daily basis. So once the download has been completed, open SQL Server Management Studio. Go to databases. As you can see, I don't have AdventureWorks. Right click and go to restore database. This window will pop up over here. I will maximize a little bit so that you guys can see it. Go to device. Click three dots on the right hand side. Uh, select backup devices window. We'll open. Click add. okay go to c directory on the left panel here you have to click the uh, backup location i would go to c directory and once i download my file i'll go ahead and uh, click on this pc and go to c drive okay i'll go ahead and uh, copy and paste my database to C drive. So I do have my database somewhere on desktop. So I'll go to uh, desktop. And actually it's on, on the downloads. I'll right click on it. Okay, I'm having technical issues here. Let me do this. I'll go ahead and right click. I'll copy AdventureX and then go to uh, C Drive and paste it here. I hit continue. Just regular question. I'll go back to uh, AdventureX window and refresh this. I should be able to see AdventureX 2019. BAK. I'll go ahead and select the file and say OK. 
and uh, say okay on this window and uh, before you hit okay here verify restore checkbox is checked now we are getting an error starting the uh, the backup wasn't ready now it's ready you should be able to see this ready um, go ahead and click OK. It will take its time and you'll see it's 100% and you should get the message that database AdventureX restored successful. Click OK. And if you go back to your SQL Server Management Studio, you should be able to see AdventureX over here. You can expand and explore the tables and you have full tables and let's make sure that we have the data in here so let's go to a person right click on it uh, select top thousand rows and we see data in here and that means we have installed successful adventure X. so thank you guys for watching and today i was showing you guys a uh, step by step on how to download and install adventure database thanks have a nice day